Good afternoon, dear children. Welcome to BNCBSE GK online class. I hope you all are doing good. Yes, children. So I'm glad to meet you here in our YouTube GK class after long days. Yes. Do you remember what we have learned last class? Yes, children. We have completed two parts, isn't it? So today we are going to learn the third part, named the environment, world, and its people. Okay, children. So here there are two subtitles. Okay, children. So the first one is ancient civilizations, and the second one is leaders of the twentieth century. Okay. So. Here are some examples for ancient civilizations. So, for example, this is Egyptian civilization, and then this is uh, China. Okay, yes, you know this, isn't it? Wall of China, yes, children. And then here are some leaders, some great and most popular leaders of 20th century. Okay, yes, children. Now, I love you. Take page number 10. We have few questions from ancient civilizations. Okay, children. Yeah. So here I have taken few questions from your book, and I'm gonna explain. So remaining questions are for your homework. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so let me read the first question. Unscramble the letters to find out the names of these civilizations. So here, children, you are ha having few questions. So some unscramble sorry scrambled letters are given here so you are going to unscramble those letters to find out the names of civilizations okay children yes and now the first question is proud warriors and skilled metal workers they were among europe's oldest people so this civilization is among Europe's oldest people, okay? Europe's oldest people by 400 BCE. So, what is BCE? Yes, before common era or before current era, okay, children? Yes, by 400 BCE, they had spread all over the British Isles. So, children, here you should pronounce this word as Isles, okay? Yes, Spain. Italy and France. Today, their culture and language survive in Ireland, Scotland, Wales, and parts of England and France. So, children, by 400 BCE, they were only at British Isles, Spain, Italy, and France. But nowadays, they are in these countries such as Ireland. Scotland, Wales, parts of England and France. So, can you guess the answer? Do you have any idea? As children? Yes. So, see here. Here is the map. Okay. How these civilization, these, how this civilization, they spread among these countries. Okay. This is Wales, England, Scottish lands. Okay. Yes. Do you have any idea? The answer is there in this map, isn't it, children? So, what's the answer? Yes, cells. So, children, you can pronounce this as kills, okay? And you can also pronounce as cells, but uh, go for kills, okay? So, what's the name of the civilization? Kills, okay, children? Yes. Now, let's move on to question two. Around 5000 BCE, yes, around before common era 5000 okay they settled in the fertile land between two rivers okay the names of the rivers are the tigris and the euphrates so what are the rivers tigris and euphrates okay in the southernmost part of ancient mesopotamia ancient mesopotamia okay they developed the first known system of writing so this civilization they developed the first known system of writing can you guess the answer yes and scramble these letters and give me the answer can you guess yes children yes so see here this is degrees and this is euphrates river okay children so they are here between these two rivers yes now can you guess 
yes what's the answer sumerians okay so the name of this civilization is sumerian they are known for her system of writing okay first known system of writing okay children yes so see here these are the picture of sumerians yes have you all seen the picture here okay children let's move on to next page a lot of you take page number 11 so children let me say something before we read these questions given in page number 11 in page number 10 you are having few more questions don't forget to do that because that's your homework okay children yes now we are going to see some questions from leaders of the 20th century yes do you know the names of great and popular leaders yes okay then ready to answer for my questions okay yes let me read the question identify these leaders who created history in the last century so now we are living in 21st century isn't it so in the last century there are some leaders they created history okay they have done something very precious okay let's see what's that first question he was in prison for 27 years so don't think anything negative now we read the answer why he was there in prison prison for 27 years okay so for his fight against the apartheid so why he was there in prison my dear children for his fight against the apartheid so you know what's the meaning of apartheid it's given in your textbook a system of racism where white people ruled over blacks okay this is apartheid it's a system of racism okay racism where white people okay white people they ruled over black people okay that is called apartheid so he is the person he fights against this system okay that's why he was put in the jail for 27 years where in south africa okay and finally he was the president of south africa from 1994 until 1999 he died in 2013 any guess my dear children so as soon as you heard this name of the country south africa something will come to in your mind yes so when i have heard this name i i my mind it thinks of only one person who is the person he fight fights against this apartheid he fights for black people he supported black people okay who's that yes he's the person yes yes what's his name nelson mandela yes this is the answer i love you right here my dear children yes then let me read question two the chairman of the communist party he was the leader of the chinese revolution of 1949 after which the pupils of china came into brink so before china's people they came inside yes he was the chairman of the communist party okay he was the leader there who's that yes who's that children he is any guess yes his name is Mao Tse Tung yes Mao Tse Tung so in Chinese they have different pronunciations children Ma Tse Tung Ma Tse Tung Ma Tse Tung Ma Tse Tung so in English we can pronounce as Mao Tse Tung yes but in chinese they have different pronunciation i said earlier so ma ze dang yes so if you surf the net you can find different pronunciation for chinese names okay children yes let's move on to next question here he led the s while ussr from 1923 to 1953 so how many years around 30 years okay through difficult times during the second world war so children 
he is the person during the second world war he was leading ussr he was leading ussr he is the general secretary of the communist party of the ussr okay and he transformed the agrarian economy of the country into an industrial one okay he is known for the transformation of the agrarian economy of the country into an industrial one making ussr a military superpower so he is the person he transformed agrarian economy to an industrial one by making ussr a military superpower so here we have come across this abbreviation two times so can you see the expansion of ussr yes what's the expansion of ussr it's union of soviet socialist republics okay so children here this is the person he was the general secretary of the communist party of this ussr from 1923 to 1953 so can you guess the answer he's the person i'm sorry yes he is the person let me erase this so now can you see the picture clearly my dear children yes can you guess his name yes he is joseph stalin okay so his name is joseph stalin i'll have you right there and you are having few more questions isn't it yes kindly do that after completing take a snapshot and send it to me okay remaining questions are your homework okay children yes now i hope you have completed your previous homework so somebody you have uh, sent those uh, snapshot of your homework to me that's good children and i'm proud of that and i want to appreciate really uh, the students those who have sent the homework to me and my dear children again and again i'll remind you you just sent your homework once after you completed yes okay children let's wind up a class here till we meet in our next class next youtube class bye for now stay home stay safe children thank you have a nice day